uh, welcome guys. Uh, today we're going to dive into Cortex Power. Um, gonna use Coco this time. Um, I don't know whether she gets any specific intel. Hey, she does. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Um, anyway, um, yeah, as I say, this is quite an interesting level because there's a lot of backtracking. It can be a bit of a maze if you're not sure which way to go. I've got my own set path. Other people may have other set path, but if you're going for the crates, I like to go to the right first. And then just keep heading right. These are being invincible if you'll miss level in particular. Um, because we've got invincibility, I'm just going to run straight through them. But um, if you haven't, just hide behind these pillars. Um, you should avoid most of the gunshots for the most part. You might remember this section. So you want to jump forward, grab the checkpoint, and then jump back. Uh, and it's important that we grab that checkpoint. Um, so that we're not missing any crates at the end. Now there's no crates down that way so we don't have to worry about that. We can go forward from here. Uh, now I think this is one bit where I don't want the atom mask. So I can use it to make this jump. Just gonna let this wear off. Uh, reason being is that it'll instantly explode these TNTs and um, make it a rather bit of a pain to get across. So. There you go. Just try to avoid these little monitor things. And we're at the end. <sighs> but don't worry, we're not done yet. <laughs> Got to do a bit more backtracking. Uh, so this is actually where, if you recall our first uh, run through through the level, where I got that checkpoint earlier. If you go forward, it would have led to this segment. And I think there's just one crate that we need to grab down here. Uh, I think I blew that up with an enemy. I don't think there's anything further back, but just to be sure. Okay, it must have been. Shit! <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I was just curious. Uh, did I make it? Yes, there was. Okay, try this again. Let's go with field. It does mean that we have to do all this again, but luckily we don't have to wait. Um, it's a shame actually because we did have the Aku Mask to protect us on the way back. But better safe than sorry, right? There you go. going back a little bit more complicated but still not not impossible just want to wait for those um, bolts of electricity to, to go across and uh, so yeah you can probably see why I do like this level because it is an interesting concept I think um, in particular Crash 2 gets a bit complicated with its um, backtracking. Yeah, so I think it's that enemy that's blowing up those crates, but I'd just like to double check anyway. There we go. Yeah, 
and if you're insured, just take your time. Um, there's no need to rush. Um, and um, yeah, from getting going on that blue gem pathway. Oh, actually, I think it might be near the start of the level when we first sent right. I think that's what activates it. But this time, we don't have the um, advantage of the um, invincibility to help us through that particular page bridge. So, yeah, I just like to hold the X button, bounce across. But, you do all that, easy peasy. Mm, maybe not so much, <laughs> but we get our gem. So, don't mind if I do. Okay, well, on to the boss level. Pinstripe. Now, this is an interesting boss. Um, again, actually, quite simple in the PS1 version because um, you can get multiple hits in during this segment. Now, on the Insane Trilogy, I find it a bit more difficult. So you just need to wait for them to dance across. And then, if you just stand behind the chair, Crash will sort of tower. And uh, yeah, you just need to sort of um, keep Crash. That's him. Um, yeah, keep Crash. Um, Hiding behind. Yeah, so um, again, as a kid, a little difficult to figure out exactly what I was supposed to do. But hey, you got it. Insight done and dusted. Yeehaw. <laughs> okay. Um, well, into the high road we go, and then, um, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time.